he had the flooding, he had my personal number. He was calling to check on the neighborhood to see if he could come back in yet. So when lightning struck his home in July, neighbors noticed. I haven't seen him much lately, uh, probably because, you know, he has been going through this. I mean, you just have someone who's genuinely kind-hearted you want to do things for them on this day the mailboxes on harold's route have postage with his name probably 50, 50 families have uh gone in <laughs> just overwhelmed just totally overwhelmed by what's taking place it's just amazing dozens of gifts to help him recover and rebuild it was something that i didn't make known to them but i guess as the saying goes they heard it through the grapevine or from some little bird and it just took off. The mailman says you get what you get. People are watching you and what you're doing, and, and they appreciate those who, um, I, I, from what I'm receiving now, uh, apparently I'm doing a great job, and I appreciate what they're doing for me. Uh, wow. Interesting note, the United States Postal Service does not allow employees to take tips. However, when they heard Harold's case, they made an exception. Reporting in studio, Travis Rice, News 2. Wow. Good for them. Thanks, Travis. The town of Mount Pleasant just dedicated the second...